Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and we are going to paint tonight. Um, I'm going to paint the tiered tray set. I'm going to get that off my screen. I don't know how to get rid of that. Hey, hey, say hey once you hop on. I'm just mixing up my muddy water <laughs> to get started. Just say hey once you come on. I hope I can see comments because I don't see anything yet. Hey, there's Carla. Good, I can see comments. You know, I don't ever know sometimes if I'm going to be able to see them or not. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Tina. Let's see. I got to look at my, <laughs> at my set. Um, I'm just getting a little started because it's going to take a little while. So I'm just um, going to talk and start. Hey, Heather. Hey, Joan. I'm just painting the, the little B set, the tear tray B set. I'm gonna paint that. You know, I, I don't paint a lot of things live, but I promised that I would show y'all how I did the, to make it look like a beehive or give it that texture background. So we're just gonna paint and chat. Hey, Belinda, thank you for the stars. I missed the name, it went by too quick. Hey, Rose. So I'm just staining these pieces. Hey, Tammy and then Grace. And I'm just, um, you know, I took the, I lost my paint bottle. Where'd it go? Here it is. <laughs> it's hiding from me. This is just burnt umber. Hey, Julie. Hey, Rhonda. Oh, you like my numbers? Yay, I got it all fixed. Oh, good, Mary. I know some people are, um, oh, thank you, Rena. Some people, y'all won't believe it, but this eyeshadow is Dollar Tree. It's some kind of LA Colors Dollar Tree eyeshadow. <laughs> Did you hold your ears when I said that? You know. <laughs> hey, Nancy. So this is just burnt umber, apple barrel. Um, I'm just mixed a little water, and this is an old plate because that's dried paint. Hey, Luann. Hey, Lenora. And so I just added a little water, and I'm... Um, just staining the pieces that need to be stained. So I'm doing that. Um, Lori, I restocked it last night and I'd sent out a text. If you're not on my texting uh, app, be sure to text that number right there. Just text join and you should be able to join the texting app and I'll send out text and things. So I'm just kind of cutting every day and then I'm putting it up that night. Um, so what I've cut today, I will put up probably tomorrow after I go live tomorrow night. Cause then I'll have today's cuttings and then I'll have tomorrow's cuttings too. Yeah, I thought, Lord, those have got to be big enough. I know they can see them. So I cut me some lead numbers today and painted them and put them up there. Hey, Pamela from Idaho. That's potato land, isn't it? So I'm just staining and just for the sake of time, I'm not going to paint the backs, okay? So there's this, that's what the stain, you know, the, I don't know why that dark spot's right in the middle. Um, when I stain it with the water and the acrylic paint, that's how I get that look, okay? So this piece will look like this, okay? When we get done. Hey, Tina. Okay, so I got the honey pot done and then I've got this. Um, so I'm just, I basically grouped everything on my table according to the color. So it'll make it a little bit quicker. The, um, cause when you sit, and if you've painted one of these sets, you know, it takes a while. Um, it probably took me one whole afternoon cause I didn't do it exactly like I'm doing it tonight. I, I can do like all the black stuff, all the yellow stuff, all the stained stuff. Um, what kind of wood is it? This is quarter inch, uh, birch plywood. How is Deidre? Um, she's not doing really good, okay? She's in the hospital, and um, she's not doing good. So, y'all just keep your prayers, um, praying for her, and just praying for her to have some peace and be free of pain. But she's she's not, you know, she's not doing really good. So, um, it's, it's just sad. But I don't... I don't want to talk about it just because I'm going to get upset. But, um, 
anyway, that's why I just don't say a whole lot because it's very upsetting to me. And, uh, she's my best friend. And, uh, but anyway, she's in the hospital. They're trying to keep her comfortable at this point. And, um, that's all, that's all they can do right now. So, but anyway, um, thank you for asking and thank you for the prayers. Um, hey, oh, okay, star. Hey, Rita. Okay, so I've got, that's the little honeycomb part. And you don't have to paint this exactly like I do it. Um, you can, you're free to do whatever you choose, but I know that some people wanted to paint, um, let me get all my pieces out here, wanted to paint it like mine. So that's why I'm kind of doing it. It's all right, Jennifer, I promise it is. Um, so this, see that part is the overlay on this, okay? So that's, I'm just kind of doing all the brown stuff first because it's just going to make it easier and quicker as it goes. Because you know, if you've done this, thank y'all for the prayers. Um, if you've done this, one of these sets, you know it takes a while. But after you've done one, if you have to paint another one, it kind of goes a little faster. So, um, cause I know what's going to be what color. <laughs> if that makes any, um, yay, Christina, you can see my number. Um, it's, um, uh, it's easier cause I know what's going to be black, what's going to be yellow, what's going to be brown. Whereas if you sit down and paint it the first time, you're like, okay, what color am I going to paint this? <laughs> So the first time I paint one is always, it takes a while because I got to decide on what color and how it's going to look and if I'm going to put scrapbook paper. Okay. So this is, this one's brown too. Okay. And I'm going to paint this black in the middle. So I'm going to leave it alone. Thank you very much for the prayers. So, um, so there's the, that, and I got that. I painted all my Stain. That looks light right there. I guess because it's drying. But anyhow. And sometimes I'll go over them twice because you can see it gets lighter as it dries. So I'm going to set that all to the side. I think that's all my brown pieces. I think. I don't know. Um, oh, nope, it's not. And I just put the paintbrush in the water. But it'll be okay. So, um, so this piece, this is the little dipper, okay? And it goes, not the star, but just the dipper, the honey dipper, <laughs> little dipper star. Okay, so this got masking on it. I haven't peeled it off. Um, so, oh, thank you. I got this shirt um, from Danielle at Bell of the Barns. It, they they sold these shirts, and I think she still has them uh, to raise money for her mom. Her mom has breast cancer. And so they sold these shirts, and I had to have one. Thank you, Debbie. Who is Alexia? That is having a sale. Uh, Alexis, that's, she's with Purposeful Indulgence. And she's, is that who you're talking about? Um, thank you, Marty. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is the bottom part of this, the little dipper, where's, oh, here it is. See, I'm going to paint the bottom like honey, but I'm going to leave, I'm going to paint this up here brown, which that wouldn't be too hard to, you know, paint one or the other. But what you can do is pull off, your masking to like where you want it. And then I'm just going to put my thumb there and I'm just, well, that didn't work like I wanted to, but anyway, I just tore it. Thank y'all very much. Um, so I'm just, I'm going to paint the handle. Well, if I get some paint on my paintbrush. I would help. Um, and I'm just using water and acrylic paint just to kind of give it that stained look. So see, then I'll paint this part in a little bit. Okay. So that's gonna dry. So let's move on to all of the black stuff. So the bees, let me find a bee. Okay, so the bees are two pieces. So you can see they're two pieces. They have an overlay piece like this, and then they have an underlay piece like that. So I already know that I'm gonna paint all of the overlay pieces black. So I'm gonna do all those at once. <laughs> you, <laughs> Nancy, you can't buy anything else from Alexis until all your stuff's completed. I understand. Uh, believe me, I got stuff that's not completed either that I've got. So, um, okay. So here, are, here's one of my little bees. So here's how I paint mine. 
I get makeup sponges from Walmart. Um, and I just dab, dab, dab. Because that way you're not trying to paint all this little bit with a paintbrush. Where'd I hang my pegboard? Joan is still hanging in my old craft room, actually. I'm debating. I, it, I haven't, my husband hasn't moved it because I'm debating on where to put it. So I'm going to give y'all a full tour and hopefully this weekend I'm going to get to come out here and organize because I got piles of stuff everywhere. Oh, thank you, Jay. You're so sweet. Okay, so there's my B and we're not going to worry about painting his back because he's going to be glued down. So I'm just going to get a little black paint on, on my sponge and I kind of dab some of it off because I don't want it all gobbed up on there. I just want enough in the sponge to be able to paint it. And then I'm just going to dab, dab, dab all over him. Just like that. Easy peasy. That fast. So then I'm just going to take all my little bees. I got them all piled up over here. And I'm just going to take all my little bees and do the same exact thing. And the black is pretty forgiving. Because usually you don't have to do two coats on it. But sometimes, oh, thank you, Carol. Sometimes you don't, you know, you have to go back and do another coat if it's a different, another color. But I just dab, dab, dab. But if you get too much paint on your sponge, it'll go down in the little holes, and which, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything, but I just try not to gob my paint on my sponge. So it just, they look like that. Easy, easy, quick and easy. Oh, thank you, Shelly. I love my new space, too. It's so nice in here. I can move and breathe. <laughs> but I'm still cutting on the lasers. They're still in the house, so in my old room. They're still in there because we have to get... People will come help us move them because the big one is like 500 pounds. Um, so I saw somebody said I got some sponges at DT. The ones at DT are real flimsy and these are that like, these are white, like they're more dense, I guess. And they work better for me, but you got to use whatever you um, want to wanna, uh, use. See, there's that one. There's a bunch of bees, guys. <laughs> and you see all these, <laughs> you see all those little holes? So when it cuts it out of the board, all those little pieces are left on the laser bed. And I had to pick all those up. <laughs> and believe me, my husband goes, my gosh, look at all the little pieces that's left. I said, I know. <laughs> so it's a lot. So I usually get a scooper and I scoop them all up. So, um, so it's easier that way, but it's a lot of little pieces. All right. So Sharon must be new. Hey Sharon, if you're new, welcome. I rarely ever paint things live that I sell, um, but tonight's an exception because y'all want to see how I do the beehive. And we're going to get to it in just a second. So this is the big bee, and this is his back piece. And he has a hole, and that will go like on the end of your beaded garland. Okay. So see how fast this goes when you use the little sponges? They just, it just goes really quickly. Especially when you have it lined out like I do and you know what your color, paint and everything and yeah. It took me forever to paint the first set. Okay, so got all my little bees out here. And then I'm just gonna look and see if I need to dab on a couple of places maybe that didn't quite get the paint in the, in the wood, wood grain. All right, I think that's all the, the bees. Okay. So now I'm trying to do everything the same color at the same time. So that little word honey, I'm going to paint it black and you don't have to, you can do it, um, however you want to. And I'm trying to find it. Here it is right here in front of me. And it's little and it's dainty, but <laughs> y'all just laugh. Go ahead and laugh. Cause you see where it landed right in the paint. Yes, when I'm done with the black, I'll just snip it right off and go on to the next color. Okay, let me blot it off because it landed straight dead in the paint. Y'all just laugh at me. Okay, so and, so, and if you want to, you don't have to hold it like I'm doing. You can definitely just lay it down and then just dab it. Same thing, but I'm just kind of holding it so I could show you. So I'm going to get that one black. What else is black? Am I missing anything? I don't think so. All right, so there's my honey. Let me set it over here and let it dry. 
And see all of our little stain pieces are drying. They're getting lighter. Okay, look at my fingers, y'all. I have a baby wipe. I leave my baby wipes open and they start, the, that one's dry. And I'm like, oh gosh, the whole thing's dry. Yes, all the little pieces of paper left. Yeah, so these are little pieces of wood and I, I fill up a five gallon bucket probably every week of little bitty bitty pieces of wood. That's a lot. Uh, let's see. So now, I guess that's all the black. I'm looking to make sure. I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna hold it over the trash and I'm just gonna snip off that part that's got paint on it. So now it's all brand new again. You can just keep going with another color. Okay, so I, I do need to paint this black. So I said, here's my stain piece. And see, if it's, if it's lighter than what you want, you can always go back and do another staining. And it is lighter than this one is. It looks like it is anyway. Just a little bit. So that's what this is going to look like. Um, so let me paint this black while I got the black paint out here. Uh, let me find a brush. Okay. So I'm just going to paint the little entrance or the door. Where's my black? Here we go. All right. So if you're new here, I go live um, on Monday nights and Friday nights at 7.30 Central Time. Usually, this is a different live. I will be live tomorrow night at 7.30. I just wanted to do this. Because I know people are getting their stuff in the mail. And I didn't want to keep anybody from painting their set if they were wanting to paint it like, my, you know, the way I did mine. Because I promised that I would show y'all. So I said, well, I'm just going to do it. Um, I'm just going to do it live. So I am. Because I never paint my stuff live. And anybody that watches me can honestly say I've probably done it maybe twice that I can think of maybe three times, maybe, in a whole year. So, I just don't, I like to do other crafts and not make everybody feel like they have to, you know, go buy my stuff. So, there is the hole for the hive. I'm going to let that dry. Now, let's see, what can I do now? I need to do the hive. That will get to that part in case everybody can't, um... <laughs> Put water in the hole if they dry out. Oh, okay. I need to try that. You're new. Somebody said they're new. Who is that? April. Welcome, April. Welcome to my page. We'd love for you to follow. Um, I'll be live tomorrow night. I'll be crafting a, just a, a craft. I don't know, even know what I'm doing yet. I kind of got an idea. but um, So, and right now I'm cutting. I cut wood laser cutouts. Um, and I sell the blanks. For you to do yourself um so that's what i'm doing tonight because i'm gonna show everybody the technique on this little on this beehive right here how i did that okay so we'll do this now <clears throat> they're they're anita's color that i like well i mean i like both of these colors because they're pretty much the same is is called mustard okay that's, um, you can use that or Apple Barrel has one. It's called King's Gold. And I'll take a picture of the colors and I'll put them on the page so you won't, you know, have any question about what color. Um, so we're going to, let's do the King's Gold because everybody pretty much has a Walmart, I feel like. And they buy probably buy a lot of paint. It's 50 cents at Walmart. Anita's is like 87 or something at Hobby Lobby. Um, okay. So... I'm going to do the King's Gold first. So, I'm going to put some out there. Let's do it with a sponge. And you can do this with a brush. You can totally... Um, Patsy, it's in my shop. Um, they're, they're out of stock right now because usually I'll put some up and in 10 minutes they're all sold out. Um, but I will, if you'll get on my texting uh, app community thing... Um, I'll, I'll send out a text when I restock them. And I usually I try to cut all day and then I uh, post them that night. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, uh, Jennifer, this file is not, I did not design this file. I do design some files. Um, you love King's Gold. But I did not design this one. But I do design some. Um, so I'm going to use a sponge or you could use a brush. 
but this is just faster, y'all. It's so easy, and you can get a little more paint on there than you do if you're doing something small. So I'm just gonna basically do it like a paintbrush. I'm just gonna brush it on. You've been making the fabric flowers. Did y'all see the video that I put up today? I did that because I have people, I have several people every day say, I can't find the video, I can't find the video. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna do one just for the flowers since it's been a big hit. So everybody, um, everybody can watch it without, you know, it being live. And you can go back and rewatch if you need to. See how pretty that is? That's the king's gold. Um, you're welcome, Terry. Are you gonna make more lemons? Yes, yeah, Susan, I cut lemons today. Um, so I cut lemons and I cut beehives all day or the bee sets all day. And um, since I was live tonight, I didn't list them. So I'll probably cut all day tomorrow and then I'll list them tomorrow night when I get off live. Okay. Somebody said, Lou Ann said, nice video. Yeah, <laughs> I had to do it twice actually because, not the whole thing, but most of it. I had to do the flower twice because um, I'll show y'all the flower. Here's the first one I did. <laughs> No, this is the first one I did. And then this was the second one I did because half of it was out of frame and I had to go back and do the part where I tied it all together and folded the circles and sewed it together. I had to do that part twice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna let this dry because we're also going to paint. Um, so I had to make two more today. Um, oh, thank you, Chris. So we're gonna paint this one, the back of it yellow as well. Cause you know, this is the part that goes on the top. And then this one is, this is gonna be the honey honeycomb part. Addicted to the flower, yes. And I wanna sit in there and watch that laser and cut, cut circles all day, but I have a whole lot of other stuff that's going on and I've been on the phone a lot of the day today and um, things to do with Deidre and um, just stuff like that. And so I haven't had a chance to make any more but I did that video. I did part of it yesterday. Then I did the other part early this morning and I sit there and edited it a little bit while I was doing that. Okay, so there's that. Let's see, what else, what else? Oh, I gotta paint. I'm looking at my set over here to see what I gotta paint. Okay, we gotta paint this, okay? So I, it has little lines like where there's little pieces that go on there like this. See the little the little teeth or I don't know what they're called, but you know that little knobby looking thing at the end. So there's pieces. So I, it's got lines like that to where you could paint it different, but it's, I painted the whole thing yellow because if you're gonna dip it in honey, it's gonna have honey all over it. So I'm gonna peel it all off and ignore those little lines right there. So, so this is a good time to show you something else. Okay, so when you take off the masking off your pieces, that, you know, all my pieces come with masking on it. See that, that, that stuff. It's only on one side. Um, unless I send a note that says otherwise. Um, the love letters, I think, is the only thing. Um, so, if, if some, sometimes, do you see that little place right there that's kind of a burnt looking color? That's just where the masking kind of lifted up and the, the wood kind of got a little bit of a burn mark on it. Um, if that, if you see that on your pieces and you go to paint it or something, um, you can always take a, just this little sanding block and you can sand it right off because it can muddy your paint a little bit. Um, you absolutely love my vocabulary. Okay, so see, it came right off. Let me move my, see how it came off right here? It'll just come right off. It's just where the wood kind of got a little, um, scorched, I guess you would say. So now I'm just going to paint the end of this really quick. This is King's Gold. I just saw somebody say that. Um, what color was it? It's King's Gold by Apple Barrel. Well, let me turn it around. That's what color it is. Or Anita's mustard. There's, it's very similar. Uh, so there's that. And then I gotta do these 
little bitty baby pieces. So let me show you another trick. And I don't have my masking tape. So I'm gonna use scotch tape. <laughs> okay, so clear tape. But you can use masking tape, painter's tape, whatever. So for the little bitty pieces, and some of these kits have little bitty pieces. So I just take my tape and I'm gonna roll the ends under and stick it on the table like that. And then I'm gonna stand my pieces up on the tape. So all I gotta do is blot them and I'm missing one because I dropped one over there on the floor and I can't find it for the life of me, but I'll find it later. <laughs> I got tired of looking for it. I don't know where it is. Hey, Cindy. So now, I, now they're on my tape and they're not gonna go anywhere and I don't have to sit there and hold the little bitty pieces. So this is a lot of good tips for you if when you paint some of the stuff that you've bought, it just goes easy. Okay, see it's done. So now I'm gonna try, attempt to try to pick this up and move it over here. Okay, so there, now it's done. And I'm probably gonna go back over that a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna go over this piece one more time. But in the meantime, while it's still wet, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to it. This is just, I like to kind of mix my colors. I don't know if y'all are like that. Yeah, the alcohol will take it right off too. Um, it will, it'll take that off. Or the awesome spray from Dollar Tree, it'll take it off. Uh, baby wipes work too. Um, so I'm gonna go over this. And while it's wet, I'm gonna put a little yellow in it just to kind of give it a little variation and a little bit of, um, just a texture, which we're gonna cover most of it up. Okay, so it's still wet. And then I'm gonna dip my sponge in that yellow color. See the difference in the colors? And I'm gonna dip it right back in that king's gold. And then I'm just gonna kind of smear it all around just to give it a little bit of, I don't know, Texture, depth, maybe, I guess. But you don't have to, because we're gonna cover it up. But it just gives it, I and mean, you probably can't see it on the, ca on the camera, but it just gives it that little bit of a, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing to this piece. And like I said, I would normally paint the backs too, but just because of time, I'm not. Um, so this one's dry, so I'm gonna put another coat, but I'm gonna put it on a little thick just so it won't dry so fast. See, I'm still on the same sponge, so they go a long way. Okay. All right, so I got that, and then I'm gonna dip it in that yellow again. I'm gonna get a little more. And then I'm gonna dip it back in the King's Gold. So see, I've kind of got a little bit of both colors on my thing, and I'm just gonna kind of smear it around. Maybe get a little more yellow. Just adds a little depth to your painting, I guess. But you don't have to do yours this way. And it, nobody may even notice it but me. <laughs> but see how it gives it a little bit of difference? Um, Betty, I'm just painting one of my tiered tray sets because I, I told everybody I would show how I painted the, the beehive like this. Y'all are going to be so amazed. It's so sim simple. All right. While we're waiting for it to dry, we got to do the dripping honey on the pot. So see, there's the pot. So we got to do the dripping honey. Now, this is where your masking helps. Okay. So I left the masking on this piece because I wanted to show you how, you know, to, to leave one part on and, and take the other part off. So I'm gonna do the honey and this is the lid. So I don't wanna paint it. So I'm just gonna paint, I'm just gonna take off the part that's got the dripping honey on it and I'm gonna throw it away. And there's your, so see the masking is still on up here. And I'm going to get my King's Gold again with a little yellow, but and then I'm just gonna dab on it. And I'm not worried about getting it on the lid because there's masking over that piece. So use that to your advantage. And see, I got it all gooped up right here. There we go. See, I use the end of my little sponge. 
if I get it down here in one of these little side pieces, I just wipe it right off. But I'm gonna show you how to fix that too. Okay, so there is that. Somebody says I'm frozen. Am I frozen? I hope I'm not frozen. So there's the honey pot. I hope I'm not frozen. Okay, somebody tell me if I'm frozen. Hey, Robin. I know they're so cute. Okay, I love the bees. All right, so that's still drying. And let's... Let's paint the bees. Okay, so... You know, we painted all the fronts of the bees, but we want the bee to look like this. Okay? So, I am going to get a paint, a little paintbrush. Okay. And so, you don't, you don't have to paint the whole entire thing. So, it's going to look like this. Let me get it all lined up. All right, so I just got to paint white, 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 and then I'm going to paint the inside of that yellow. So you don't have to paint the whole piece. So, get some white out here. So you just kind of put your piece over it. I know where the wings are going to go. And then I'm just going to paint those little spots white. That way you don't have to waste your time painting the whole entire bee. So I'm basically just painting the wings and his rear end, I guess. <laughs> All right. So, got my wings and just kind of sloppily painted it. I'm not even trying to be anything, <clears throat> anything fancy about it. And I dipped it right back in the white again. Lord of mercy. All right, let me get in this yellow. And this is kind of a bright yellow. It's called Canary Yellow by Anita's. But I think I actually on mine, I may have used Apple Barrel's yellow, I think. But I don't have any more. Okay, so I'm just kind of painting his, his, his bomb over here. Yellow. So that's all I did. So I'm not even going to paint the rest of him because it's going to be covered up when we put them on top. So I'm just going to finish painting the rest of these little bees. I saw somebody ask um, if I sold them already painted. No, 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 I don't <laughs> because it takes a long time to finish one of these. Um, with the beads and everything, it takes a while. And the only reason I'm doing this as fast as I am is because I've already painted one. The stinger, the stinger. I'm scared to say that word, Christina, because I'm scared they'll they'll pop my hand and say, you can't say that. Because they listen. Facebook listens. Facebook went down today, guys. Did y'all see that today? Facebook was like, it, it, nothing would work. Messenger, nothing would work today for about 15, 20 minutes, I guess. I was like, oh, no. That's why it's going to get on the texting theme because if y'all ever lose me and can't find me or Facebook goes away, then you'll know where else to find me. Robin, they're, they're in my store, but right now they're out of stock and I'm cutting, cutting, cutting to get them restocked. Where's my big B? Okay, and there's the big B. Do him the same way. I see your question, Debbie. I'm just, I answered it a few minutes ago and I just, I can't. I'm sorry. I, um, she's in the hospital. She's okay. Y'all just need to pray for her. But thank you for asking. All right, I'm just kind of going back over them some. Hope I got them all. I'll find another bee in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to do the wings the same way. Just going to paint some white. I'm just kind of hurriedly painting it. Not a big, not trying to be neat about it because it's just going to show under those little holes. 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they were resetting their servers today or if, I don't know. I don't know what they did, but they did something and it went down completely. So I was like, and I was, I was going to get in the shower and go, and so I was going live and I was just about to post the thing that I was going live and Facebook wouldn't come up and I was like, uh oh. So I texted a few friends and I'm like, um, tell me if your Facebook's working. <laughs> And they're like, no, it's not. And I'm like, oh, it's not just me. Thank you, Debbie. Okay. This is the little bitty baby bee. All right. Let's see. So see, I'm just kind of, it's not even, you know, just kind of putting it on there. So when we glue them together, they'll all be... You'll just see the under what's under there. And this white, I may have to do another coat. I don't know. Can't wait to get this set. I know, it's so stinking cute. I, and believe it or not, my Easter stuff is still out because I've been busy cutting and I hadn't even taken mine down. But I, I plan on doing that this weekend. My Easter's coming down and my bees... Oh, I missed a wing on him. My wings are go. I mean, my wings. My, <laughs> my bees are going up this weekend. I got all kinds of little stuff to go on mine. All right. Almost got them. There's a bunch of bees. Because you get, you get some bees to put on pieces, but you get a few extra little bees. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to have to just brush over them quickly again. That wood soaks it up. <laughs> Thank you for the prayers. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm froze again? Uh-oh. Maybe Martha needs to come out, go out and come back in. I don't know. I hope it's not me. Your Easter's still up too? I know, Heather. I'm killing you with this set. <laughs> it's cute. Bees are all the rage this year. They were last year a little bit, but this year it was everywhere at market. Everything had bees. Bees and gnomes. <laughs> all right. Hopefully, this is the last one, I think. All right, now we'll let them little boogers dry. Do I need to paint? Yes, I need to paint this white. And that's still, that's almost dry. Where's another sponge? You still have your Christmas tree up? Oh, no, you got us beat. I ain't even going with that. I don't have my Christmas tree up. Uh-oh, I froze. Huh. And I'm back. Okay. So here's the little honey sign. Same thing. I'm just gonna. And the little word that's on there, that's just a guide for you to know where to put your piece when you go to glue it on. Because if you're like me, mine would be all crooked. And even sometimes with the little lines, it's still crooked. I still get it, cro <laughs> get it crooked. Um, so I'm just putting that on there. We're doing pretty good, but we haven't painted flowers yet. But anyway, so this is about dry because it needs to be dry. You decided your Easter decorations are spring well. That's what I'm saying too because mine's still up. But it's only it's only Thursday. It was just it was just um, it was just Sunday. Oh, Liz, I'm so sorry. That's so sad. Bless her heart. But if I had to go, I just want to go in my sleep too. That's what my mom did, so it was peaceful. But that's what I had prayed for for her, just to go in her sleep. But anyway, um, so it's dry. So there's this, okay? So this is the piece that's going to go on top. Y'all are going to be shocked at how easy this is. So this is what it's going to look like when we get it all together, okay? So what I do, and I didn't even see if I had one out here, but I do. My trusty pencil. All right. So I'm going to lay my piece down. And then I'm going to line it up like it's going to be when I glue it. All right? So I'm just going to lightly make little 
I'm gonna kind of trace out these little indentions or whatever they're called in the hive. So I'll know exactly where it's gonna line up when I put it back on. Cause that's the only place I'm gonna paint that I'm gonna make that design. Y'all are gonna be like, oh, this is so easy. Okay, yeah, that's all I need to do. Yeah. All right, so here you, here's what you have. If you can see the lines, I just traced it with my pencil. Cause I started doing the whole entire thing and I was like, no, this is gonna take too long. So see, I only did what's in the holes. I only did this and this. So I didn't do underneath this, there's nothing. So, okay. All right, so let me move all these little critters out of the way. All the bees. Now, you need to get a little bitty, tiny, 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 tiny paintbrush. It's little. Um, so, and I threw, no, I didn't. Here it is right here. Okay, so you're going to do the muddy water again with your, um, this is burnt umber. Okay, but I, I want it more paint than water. Does that make sense? So I'm going to just dip my paintbrush in it and kind of dip it over here in the paint just to get a little more paint than water. Now, all we're gonna do is make little bitty X's with my teeny tiny paintbrush. So I'm gonna do a few so you can see. And they're not neat. Okay, so that's all it is. Can y'all see those? Little bitty bitty X's. And I should have started up here at the top, shouldn't I? So I just go and make little bitty X's next to each other all around. And that's how you get that look. How easy is that? Very, very simple. And it doesn't matter if their X's aren't all the same. Cause see, look at mine. And then you just, it, all that together makes it look like that, I don't know, textured hive looking. I was just trying to figure out something to do to it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's little bitty X's. See? That's all it is. It's so easy. It's so easy. And um, don't overthink it. But you could also put scrapbook paper on here. If you found some kind of like beehive scrapbook paper, you could put that on here too. I just didn't have any, and I don't know that I've seen any, but I just buy like the open stock that's at uh, Hobby Lobby. So I don't have any of those big, I have like a couple of thick books, but not any with any beehive or anything in it. Um, but I wish I had some, but so I was just sitting here and I was like, well, how am I gonna make this look like a beehive or some kind of textured look to it and this is what I came up with so I just made and if you see any blank spots you just kind of go back over it so I just kind of made this up like okay this is gonna be a thing so it's a thing so that's all I did all right so I'm just and it does take a little while But I did take pictures of it when I did it the first time because I thought they're going to ask me and they're going to want to know how I did that and I'm going to show them. But then I decided to do it live, so it's okay. Yes, Carmen, you sure could. You could do the bubble wrap thing. Absolutely. Do it with a like a different color yellow over it. Or maybe paint the background that bright yellow and then do the king's gold on top. Um... Y'all thought it was going to be something fancy smancy, didn't you? Y'all know me. I'm just simple as they come. Thank you, Natalie. I'm just so simple. I just, sometimes it's the simple stuff that is the best. Don't make it too hard. Okay. So, see? Looks just like that. So, see, once we get that, and then we, this is glued on the top, it's going to look like this. So it's so easy. Who to thunk it? <laughs> so, and if, like I said, if you have any little blank spots or some of them are lighter than others because you got a little too much water, 
then just go back over them. Don't, you know, don't overthink it too much. Just kind of go in there and make you a bunch of little crisscrosses or X's or whatever. And I'm trying to, because I actually want to put all this together. I'm so talented. Nah, I've just been doing it a long time. <laughs> I don't know if I call it talent. I tried it and I said, well, that looks good. I thought it looked pretty cool in the end, but. But I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Oh, you left some Easter up? Yeah, some of the bunnies and stuff is fine because they're spring, but my eggs and my tear tray, everything is still out in full force in there. But you know, I live with a bunch of men, so they hadn't, they don't, they hadn't even noticed. They hadn't even noticed. They don't care, but it's bothering me because I hadn't done it yet. All right, so there's the progress I'm getting. So see, that keeps you from covering this whole thing if you draw it off. Instead of trying to do the whole entire piece, I thought, eh, that's too much sugar for a dime. I gotta trace this out. Um, thank you, Janet. I can't be sitting here and doing this whole entire piece when half of it's gonna be covered up. So let's trace it out because you're not gonna see the pencil lines either. Nobody's gonna know they're there but you. Almost done. And we're gonna move on to something else. And I gotta show y'all how I did the, this. The sweet as honey, how it's white and then it goes down to the dark yellow. Aw, I wouldn't call it talent, y'all. Like I said, I've been crafting my whole life, so if there's a craft out there, I've probably tried it. I just like making stuff. I don't know. Get that for honest from my daddy. <laughs> and tomorrow is Friday, and we got a craft tomorrow night. Oh, Lorraine, you have your bunnies out all the time. I love them too. They're so sweet. I love the bunnies. But the bees are fixing to move in on the bunnies. Oh, no, this shirt, it came from uh, Bella the Barnes. It came from her boutique on Facebook. She's another creative friend of mine. Uh, if you don't follow her, you need to. But she sold these shirts for her mom. Um, her mom has breast cancer, and she did these shirts for her. And I had to have it. And it's so super soft, too. When are, I'm, I'm probably going to put them up tomorrow night, probably after I go live. Because I've got some cut today and some lemons, and I'd like to cut all day tomorrow, and that way I'll have a whole lot. Um, so probably after I go live tomorrow night, I'll put them up after that. Because we'll do a craft tomorrow night. All right, I think I'm through. I'm just going to go up here and see if there's any little spots I need to get. That looks bare. Okay. Nope. All right. So there's that. See? And it's gonna look like this. Da, da, da. X is marks the spot. X marks the spot. See? Dana, I don't do pre-orders. Um, I usually just kind of cut and then put it out and cut and put it out. And that keeps me as a person that can get overwhelmed. I, it keeps me from being overwhelmed. Because if I did that, I would have 500 orders. And I'd be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I don't, I don't do that. Because it would never end. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do the popsicles too. 
He'd be doing that for hours. No, you won't, Lou. Just, just whip them up there and just. No, you'll be fine. Just don't even, don't even do, try to do them perfect. Just, just switch them on there, all kind of messy like that. Just, just do it really quickly. See, uh, uh, um, Elizabeth said her kit came today. That's why I want to do it because I think it was actually Elizabeth that said hers came, and I was like, oh gosh, I got to do that because they're wanting on me to show them. So let's do the sweetest honey, which is it goes on this piece like this and so i did mine ombre because i couldn't i really couldn't decide if i wanted to do it white or if i wanted to do it yellow because the flowers are i did daisies you can do your flowers any color you wanted to but i'm kind of doing the daisy theme with mine daisies are just so cute to me the white and the yellow and it kind of all goes with the bee thing but you could do sunflowers if you wanted to do this yellow and then do the middle brown um, but I did, I couldn't decide to paint this white or yellow. So I was like, well, I'm just going to give it an ombre look. So see the top is white and then it goes into the yellow and then it goes into that honey color at the bottom. So, um, let's see, let's do, okay. So I'm going to put, where's my white? Let me get me some more white out here and move this sponge. Okay, so I'm gonna get some white on here on my little sponge. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the top because we already know it's white. And look at that one to see how far down I went. And if you mess up, just paint back over it. Just paint back over it. Okay. So I got the top, I got the sweet white and that's kind of where the yellow starts after that. But like I said, you do this however you want to do it. You don't have to do it like I'm doing it. But a lot of people wanted to know. All right, so I'm going to turn. Let's do this. Let me just cut this off. Snip my sponge off. Throw it over here. All right, and then I'm going to get in the yellow. Where's my... Come on. Come on. Don't you hate when that happens, when it's like a piece of dried paint that's in there? Oh, I hate that. Come on. It's like snot. There we go. Come on, what is the deal with this paint? I got some out, but now I got a big glob. Okay. Now, so, I'm gonna get a little yellow on my sponge, kind of like at that top part. I'm gonna turn it over, but I'm gonna put white at the top. So I got white at the top and then yellow. So I'm just gonna kind of dab my white and then do my yellow at the same time. And I'm just gonna kind of go up into the white, but then I'll take the white and dab it right back over the yellow just so that it kind of gives it that illusion that it's blending and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so let's see if y'all can see that I'll hold it so see I, I did the yellow the white and the yellow but then I kind of went down a little bit and got the white on top of that yellow so it blends the colors together and so um then I'm going to put a little bit more yellow and go a little further down into my honey words. All right. Then I'm going to take my king's gold again and get a little bit that I got left on this plate. And then I'm just going to dab the bottom. So that it looks like this. So it's kind of like a a variation of color, just white, yeah, and it fades into that dark. I just wanted to do it that way because I wanted the honey word to be yellow and, you know. Okay, so there's that piece. Oh, I'm going to go ahead. And, this is the Be Happy, and it goes on here. And see, I dotted mine. So it's just white. So let me snip off again. Get the yellow off there. So see, 
brand new sponge, just snip it off and you just keep going until you don't have enough to hold on to. So I'm just gonna put a little white on here and this is probably gonna take a couple of coats. So, but it goes really quick once you decide what color to paint everything, it's not so bad. But then painting the beads and all that stuff is a whole nother story. <laughs> and I'm gonna show y'all my beads. So you'll so you'll see how I did mine. Okay. Just kind of keep going over it. Maybe I won't have to do a second coat. And this all dries so fast because it's so thin. You know, the coat the coats are so thin. Yes, it's a kit. So um, right now they're sold out. I cut them every day and then put them all up. Um, Christina, what color did I use for the bees? It's actually called Canary Yellow from Anita's. But I think on my bees that I did, I think that is Apple Barrel Yellow and not this color yellow, but I ran out of it. So, but this is Apple Barrel Yellow. And then this is the uh, Canary. It's not very much difference, maybe a little bitty bit. Um, okay. So, our beehive is still drying. Besides King's Gold, it's canary yellow. But the one I did that's already painted, that I did before tonight, it's, um, was the uh, apple barrel just yellow. <laughs> a couple of your faves on it at the same time. I know, Benita. A lot of people live tonight. This is not my normal night, but... Um, I wanted to do it another time besides crafting night. All right, I'm just gonna touch over this honey again and do it another coat of white. I forgot about it a minute ago. And kind of give it another coat. And see, you can coat it, but it still shows that word through there and that's to help you know where to put it. Okay, the top of the honey pot. Y'all see me do this before? You can paint it any color you want. But this is, I galvanized mine because I wanted it to be different. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pull off, you know, we painted the honey and left the masking on. So I'm gonna pull it off and it's all nice and clean line because we had that masking on there, which is awesome sauce. But see now, let me get this back out of the garbage. Where'd it go? Where is it? Here it is, okay. So let's say, y'all see me do this before I think, but let's say that you had some really cool scrapbook paper that you wanted to cover the top of this jar with, okay? You would peel off the masking, okay? You would stick it to your scrapbook paper like that. And then you would cut around it, peel the masking off, and then you have a perfect template for that piece if you wanted to cover it with scrapbook paper or fabric or whatever. You could do this, you know, do that. And then you would glue it right on with Mod Podge and it would be the perfect fit. So the masking can help you in several different ways. Um, yeah, I'm cutting, I cut more today and then I'll cut more tomorrow. So I'll have a, a lot and then I'll probably put it up after I go live tomorrow. Um, okay, so this is like my favorite silver. I have several silvers. This Michaels Craft Smart and it just says, silver this is like my favorite it's really really thin but uh it doesn't take a lot of paint um but i like this that craft smart silver i have deco art i have other ones too but now i left my knob i left the the, the masking still on it so i'm just gonna get my little silver and this is where you have to be careful because we don't want to get it into the honey that we've already painted. So I have to, I'm just gonna drag my sponge along there. You could do it with a brush. And this is gonna take a couple of coats. Cause it's real, the paint's real thin. The silver's real, real, real thin. Okay, so there's one coat. See how you can't really see how dark it is? It's not real dark cause it's, it soaks into that wood. Okay, so let me show y'all while we're sitting here a minute show y'all my this is my um set and there's my big b so here he is drying 
but see the difference in the color? You can probably tell. One's, this is brighter. Um, so, this is what mine looks like. Now, I have these. I, I get those on Amazon. They're in my Amazon store. I think there's some of these in my Amazon store, even though I took these from Deidre's stash when I was at her house. She's like, I don't care. You can take some. So, I took some of these beads. Um, little honeycomb looking beads. Or honey hive or whatever. Um... And then I just painted my beads. And then this little guy, he's wool. He came from Amazon and they're in my Amazon shop. And then I just alternated it. So I put one of these little guys down here and then I put another one down here at this end. Now this is just fabric. There's some baker's twine in here. Different color baker's twine, black and the yellow, I think. I think there's black and white and yellow and white, yeah. And then there's some jute in there. And then there's this cool bee fabric that I have from Joann's. It's really cute. And I just tore it all up, you know, made a tassel. And there's a video somewhere in my collection of um, how to make a um, tassel and do your bees. So that's what mine looks like. I love it. Because I think the buffalo check just goes so awesome with it. Because it's black and white. What size were the bees? They're 20 millimeters. And if you get the set with the beads that in, in my store, it you know, you can get them. There are 20 millimeter beads, but you get 20, 20 of them. I'm trying to think how many it was. Um, I know I love garland. I could just sit and make garland sets all day. But um, I love to make different beaded ones and colors and stuff. Um, okay, now what are we doing? Let's see. Are we through painting? I'm, I'm not going to paint the flowers on here just because there's there's four little ones and there's three of the big ones the big ones go with the little garland that you can tie around the edge of your tray or wherever you want to put it um i did mine i'll show you this and i put baker's twine on this too but i just did the white and then i did the yellow in the center and i think it's actually a mixture of the king's gold and the yellow and then I dotted mine with a little bit lighter of a yellow. And then I painted my leaves green. So that's how I did mine. And then I painted the back green. <laughs> but that's how I did mine. But you could do sunflowers would look really cute. Woo! Sunflowers would look cute. Whatever you want to do. But see, I used the baker's twine again to tie mine. But you could use whatever you want. Jute, it doesn't matter. It'll look really cute. So that's how that looks. But you could do use this anywhere. Um, but that's how I did the flowers and they're, they have masking too. So if you want to paint the center first, then you would just peel off the center piece and then paint that and then peel off that piece and then paint that. Um, or if you wanted to use scrapbook paper, peel off that piece, and make you a perfect template. Um, so let the masking work for you, even though I know it's a pain to peel it all off, but, um, because I used to peel it all off, and then it got to where I just couldn't do it anymore. It may take you all summer. Okay, something else that's going to come in your set is the, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? The subtraction pieces from this. Because when I pull this off the tray, all of these little pieces are left. And I just could not throw them away. I said, well, I'm just going to wrap them up and I'll send it with their set because even though you won't use this in this set, but you can use this for something else. Um, all the little minus pieces. Um, so what I was thinking, or me and my friend Kelly, Kelly was here when I was painting it, I think, and she said, oh, it would spell out be happy. So you get seven of them because there's seven holes. So you get seven of these to do something else with, okay? Yeah, get on the notification list. Okay, so you could put do B-E or you could do B-E-E -E, kind or B-E happy or whatever you want to do. You could do any of that. You could even use one of your extra B's and do B and then do something else, another word, or whatever you want to do. So these are just yours to have. 
because I could not spare to bear to throw all these pieces away because I knew that y'all would do something with them. So you get those extra in your kit because um, I just couldn't throw them away. I was like, they'll do something with them. They'll put them on a canvas and make a beehive or something out of them. I was like, I am not going to throw those away. They're, I'm sending them with them. <laughs> um, so anyway, so now I guess all there is to do is put this sucker together. Um, let's see. So I use super glue gel. It comes from the Dollar Tree. You can also um, get the bigger bottle or whatever at Walmart. Um, but this is the, the fun part because this is where I get it on my fingers. And I got to finish this. <laughs> How did I forget? I gotta show y'all how I did it. An inch, you could, yeah, you could do an inch worm. You could do a lots of stuff with that. Whatever you wanna do, That those are yours to have. Cause you know, us crafters, we keep it all and and um, could do something with it somewhere. I hadn't even done any with anything with my pieces, which the ones, the kit that I had, okay. Use them as centers for the flowers. Yes, you could do that too. So I painted another coat on that, so we're gonna let it dry. And I gotta paint the knob. So I'm gonna start gluing while it's drying. Yeah, knob on the jar, I know. I picked it up and went, oh, I gotta paint that. Okay, so that's the back. You can use wood glue. Yeah, you can use wood glue. Sure can. This is just like right now. It, it will be done and it'll be right now. Um, but it does give you a few seconds to kind of slide it and get it in place before it sticks. And the gel doesn't run everywhere. It just stays where you put it. So I always just, I put little dots here and there. I don't cover the whole thing with it. Because it's not like we're trying to glue something substantial to something else. And then I'll just kind of squirt some, you know, on a bigger piece. But be careful, you know, when you get close to the edge because you don't want it to run out because mine does that all the time. And see, so you'll have a few seconds to kind of get it lined up where you want it. And then I'll just let it sit here. It's the bean on video. Yeah, the, okay. Somebody must have been asking. All right, so then I'll just like put it where I want it and then I'll push it over to the side and I'll let it dry. Same thing with this. So here's my dried little honey thing. And I'll do the same exact thing with it. Yes, I do send you little pieces of, I don't even have any out here actually. Um, my set don't even have triangles on the back yet. That tells you how bad, how bad I'm doing. I gotta do that before I put it out this week, weekend. Um, but yeah, it, I send you little triangles. You get six little triangles. And if you want to glue them to the back of your pieces to help them stand, you can. You can glue Jenga blocks to the back if you'd rather. You can just lean them on stuff on your tray. Um, but, I, you know, sometimes you just need that little extra prop to get it to lean the right way. How did you paint the back of the part of the honeycomb? Maggie just missed it. Um... It is a bunch of little bitty X's with uh, kind of watered down burnt umber paint. Just little bitty X's. When, you, when we get done, you can always come back on and like fast forward to that part if you want to. Don't, I don't sell the finished pieces. Uh, um, I sell the, the pieces that are raw, that are not painted. And so like right here, I got a little bit of super glue. So I'll just roll up a piece of paper towel like that. And then I'll just kind of take my paper towel and kind of get it off. Because I'm not perfect. It'll ooze out sometimes and get in there. But if you're real careful, you can get it and it's not, you can't even tell it. Okay. All right. So see, this one's dry. It's not going anywhere. That's how I like it just instant. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me tell y'all, show y'all a trick real quick. Um, I haven't tr tried this one tip I'm just going to tell you, but a friend of mine told me, um, she saw, she got them at Dollar Tree. But you know those markers at the Dollar Tree, they're like furniture scratch markers. They're black, brown, and I don't know what, it's like a pack of three. I've seen them in Dollar Tree before. Um, 
she, she got that, and that's what she uses on her kits is the furniture marker. Well, I, I use a brown Sharpie. Now, you know, the edges are already brown, okay? And so, like, if you look real close, you can tell I didn't glue it all the way straight for whatever reason. I just didn't get it straight, okay? I'm not perfect, I promise. So, what I do is I take my brown Sharpie, because you can see that, orange, that yellow paint coming through there, and I'm like, eh, I don't like that. <laughs> then I just take my Sharpie, and I just run it around on that paint, and it covers it right up. Or even, like I said, the furniture markers um, do the same thing. Okay, so see? You see the difference? You can still see it a little bit, but it's not as noticeable. So I'm trying to find, same thing here. You can see that yellow right there, where it kinda, I went over the edge. And I'll just take that brown marker. And I promise I'm not real particular, but I didn't get messy with this set, so I couldn't really show you a good example. <laughs> but I just cover over that paint that kinda oozed over the side to where you can't see it. So it doesn't look like I just globbed it all on there. So, let's see. All right, so this is dry. Okay, there's my little silver top. We're gonna make it look like that, okay? So I took, this is graphite. I just picked a darker gray than the silver. Oh, Mikey uses the furniture markers? Cool. I've never bought them. I've, she, she found them and she's like, I'm gonna try this. And I'm like, well, let me know how it goes. And she did. Do you have felt bees? Yes, they're in my Amazon um, Amazon store. The little felt bees. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my old rusty chip brush and get a little of that dark. And this is where you have to be careful. <laughs> Let's see. Let me do this. Because I don't want to get it on my honey. Look, I was looking for masking tape. And there it is. It's laying right here the whole time. And I'm gonna cover up the yellow, and I'm just gonna take my dark gray, and I'm just gonna kinda make it kinda look a little speckledy. Is that a word, speckledy? Put a little more. A little bit speckled with that darker color. We'll be letting that dry. And I'm going to need that for some white here in just a minute. Okay. So let's glue some beads. Okay. So here's my bees. See how we just kind of painted, haphazardly painted the insides. Not all perfect. and But we're going to cover all that up. Where's my glue? Here it is. Look, I super glued that to the tip. <laughs> I glue my, I glue, I'll get it on my fingers all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on him. And like I said, don't think that you gotta put it all, coat the whole thing with glue. So like, so you can keep it from oozing so much. Like I'll put a, a little glob there. So you can, you see it, it's like a little puddle. Cause it will, it's, it's just a glob cause it doesn't puddle. But, and then I'll kind of get some on the end of my tube and then I'll just kind of dot it around here and there because I don't want it to be a real thick on those wings because I don't want it to ooze through to the other side. Just little tips that I've learned, you know, to do because I've done quite a few sets, but... All right. So, see, I just got a little on there. And then I'm going to get him where I want him, and then I'm gonna set him over there. Oh, he's gonna be a good one to show y'all the, the white part. And then we're just gonna, so you do all the bees that way, okay? You're just gonna glue all of them. But see what I'm talking about when I say that you're not even gonna be able to see where you didn't paint. So see, I'm trying to get it lined up and hold it at the same time, so. I'm not gonna sit here and glue all 10 of them together, or have seven of them, or however many together. Uh, what am I doing now? Let's see. 
And then, of course, you have all these little pieces, which I minus one because I dropped it on the floor, but you'll glue all those little suckers onto this. Um, let's see. Now, this, you're probably going to have to go back and reference my picture to see because it took me a, a time to, to do it, to get it all on there right. Um, but the sweetest honey goes the Y part is right here. And then I had to look at my flowers and figure out which direction they went in. So, cause they go in a certain certain way to fit the little, the little bumpy bumps on the outside. So if you want to screenshot that, <laughs> you can. So when you go back to look, you'll be like, and do yours, you'll know exactly which way the flowers turn. Cause this one turns, up, this one turns up, this one turns down. So, but you can always go to my website and look at the pictures too. Um, but the sweetest honey goes there. So, and when you have something little like this and you need that super glue gel, a good thing to do is to use your sponge, like one of them that's, let me cut all that off. Okay. And sometimes I'll just put the glue like on the edge of my plate right here. And then I'll just use the sponge and do it like paint. I'll just get some of that glue on there. And then I'll just kind of dab it all on. And that way you're kind of, it's so hard to get all these little pieces and get the glue on there. But it's just enough that it'll hold it. It'll be, it'll be just fine. All right. Ooh, that stuff stinks. Okay. So I'm gonna hold it down. You gotcha. So while I'm sitting here, if y'all aren't in the group, the my free group, y'all go join it. It's wonderful and all that's just covered with all those flowers. You're missing out. It is the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. And there's like 11,000 people in there and it's awesome. And right now it's flowers. <laughs> it's awesome. I love the flowers. Mm. Missy, the text number is right there. Mm. Right by the little gnome. Ugh, okay. So, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we gotta finish our thing. Let me get some white. So here's our little galvanized top. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of white and I'm gonna put my finger here and try not to get it on there. And I'm just gonna kinda go in and do a little white on my top. So it kinda gives it the galvanized, that silver in the background, kinda gives it that galvanized look like that. Let's see if I can kinda blot it around and make it look a little better maybe there we go i got a lot of white on that one see how i and it's gonna be different every time you do it uh, laura you can't wait for yours to get there and then we're gonna paint the knob a little bitty knob let's see i know i got a sponge around here somewhere hey barbara we're just painting and chatting tonight. So I'm just gonna get a little corner of a sponge and just paint the knob black. Cause I won't have to do two coats on it probably. So there's my little pot and you can paint it any color you want to. So I don't think you gotta do it just like mine. Is the scissor, is it the, the scissors, the, these? Oh, the scissors up there, not these scissors. These scissors. These scissors, <laughs> y'all, it's backwards when I'm looking at it on here. These scissors right here, no, but I am working on that for y'all because um, everybody's asking for those scissors. Oh, y'all, I've got tape that's touched that tape. All right, let's put on this. Let's, I'm going to put the Be Happy. Now, whatever, whatever bees that you put where in this set is totally up to you because like I said, you get extra bees. 
Um, two of them, of course, have the holes in the wings, and they are the ones that hang on the little banner. Um, but you get, you get like three different other sizes of these bees. Let's see. Yeah, you get two that are the same, so you get, you get two of these. They aren't glued. You get two this size, and then you get the next size down, and then you get this tiny baby bee right here. So there's actually three sizes of bees. So where you put them is totally up to you. Um, you don't have to do it the way I did it. You can put two bees on something if you want to, but there's what mine looks like, and then we're gonna fix this one. So this is the tricky part because your be happy words are only touching in certain spots. So trust me, I, I anguished over this part. Um, and I probably shouldn't have, but I was worried about it. <laughs> because you're not, you don't have a surface to do the whole entire thing. And you can do it up and down, you know, straight across if you want. Or you can catty corner it on the side like I did. However you want to do it. So I... The best way to do this to me was I just had to kind of wing it. I just kind of had to go, okay, well, that's touching and that's touching. And as long as you get a few of the main points touching, you get glue on them, it's going to be okay because it's not heavy. So I just kind of eyeball what I think's touching, I guess. And then try to put it back like I had it. Okay, so I'm going to sit here and hold it. Because it's not going to, you know, it's not going to um, not hold it. Because it's not a lot to hold. It's so light. Uh-oh. I was frozen again? What? I don't know what's going on with the internet. Maybe that's going to hold. Hold on. Is everybody still here? <laughs> did I did I go away? Yes, Renee, I'm gonna have more sets for sale. Um, if you'll get on the texting thing, I always text before I put on a restock. I did last night and I sent text out. And um, thank you, Tammy. And so um, tomorrow night I'll go live, and then when I get off, I'll stock it. Yeah, Facebook totally went down today, Donna. Facebook was gone for a while, about 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah, if you go in, if you join the group, be sure to answer the questions when you when you go into the group. Oh, you went out and came back in, Susan. Okay. All right, so see, I just put a little glue here and there, and it's holding. It's not heavy, so as long as you get, like, I did the top of the B, I did the Y, and then the H. So it didn't, you know, it's not a whole lot. And then you would just, let's see, where's our bee that we glued? No, we glued the big one. Anyway, but I would put a bee down here. I would glue a bee together. And then you stick him wherever you want to put him. Okay. So, I mean, that's really all it is. And then, like I said, that you got the honey pot top. And it goes right up here. Easy peasy. You're still watching, Loretta. So I'm just going to squirt some of this glue on the back. I'm going to put a little here and there. And just kind of get it lined up. And like I said, you got a few seconds to line this up. So don't feel like... Once you lay it down, it's just going to stick. It's not. The gel is awesome. Because it's not watery. But it gives you a little extra time to kind of fiddle with it. Oh, and then I moved it again. I touched it and moved it. So it's not stuck. Okay. So I'm going to put my honey on. My little label. I gotta get these little bitty words that says honey. I don't know what I did with my 
super glue um, sponge I had. I lost it somewhere, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. And this one's easy because it has a little guide of where it goes. Because if you're like me, I wouldn't be able to get it on there straight. It'd be crooked. And sometimes mine is still crooked and I have guidelines to go by. <laughs> all right, so there's the honey. I'm not gonna tilt it up because it's not all the way dry. And so, like I said, this is already glued on. And then I would, I hadn't painted the flowers. So, but they would go up here. Um, but like I said, sunflowers um, would be so cute if you did sunflowers. It did the, um, the, uh, the yellow and then the brown in the middle. That would be so adorable. Um, but now, I will show you this because I, I think I have a, I do have a picture on the website. But this is the kind of the neutral set. I didn't do these bright colors because um, everybody's not into the brights. But I did it very, very faint yellow, and it was the yellow flame. That's the yellow that I used for it. And I may have, I may have put a little bit of white in it just to tone it down even more. So, but look how pretty it is. Just that brown and the white, and then this, this piece. I did it white on the brown. Because not everybody likes that in-your-face yellow you know, but the bees are so cute. But this is my favorite bee of this whole set is that one. I love the brown and the white. I think that's just beautiful. But you do it however you want to. But see, I, I think I did add a little bit. Uh, I may have added a little white to the yellow flame. It's apple barrel. But then I just used the burnt umber and then, I bl and then black. And then in my tassel, I just did jute and some a little real light yellow ribbon and then buffalo check but then i just did the regular beads for it i didn't want it to be all flashy <laughs> the brown color is burnt umber but i will post a picture too of the colors because not everybody's going to see the video is so um you know but you got to do it the way you want to do it and and whatever matches your stuff there's no wrong way to do it so, King's Gold, and then the Burnt Umber, and if you want to use the Anita's, the Mustard is about the same color, real, real close. Um, and then the green I used on, the, on my leaves is this Parakeet. That's one of my favorite colors is the Parakeet by Apple Barrel. And then I just kind of brushed a little white in the leaves. If you can see, you can see it there. Um, and then, of course, white. I buy the big bottle of white. Um, and my top of my honey pot was the Craft Smart Silver. And um, that's, that's like one of my staples. I love this paint. And was it graphite? Yeah, graphite, Craftsmart, or just a dark gray, apple barrel, dark, a darker gray, and then um, black, my jet black, whatever, black. <laughs> What's the difference in jet black and black? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> Can't get enough burnt umber. I know, and then there's like three or four different shades of burnt umber. It's like raw umber, burnt umber, and something else. I don't know. <laughs> Um, you can purchase, yes, you can purchase it with and without beads if you don't need the beads, but some people would just rather get it all at the same time and they don't have beads or they don't order beads or, so I do it for, you know, I try to do it for both. Yes, the silver paint is awesome. Craftsmart, Michaels, just silver. I don't, it's probably like a dollar or something. Hey, Nanny, you're new to the page. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're just painting tonight. Oh, Jet is a is a richer black. It just looks black to me. <laughs> Black's black. I don't know. Um, welcome to the page. We're just painting one of my tear tray sets tonight um, that I sell. I, know I normally don't paint stuff that I sell, but tonight we did a little bit um, uh, 
doing a little something different because everybody wanted to know how this was done. So, and I showed y'all and y'all were like, what? <laughs> what is that? Um, Kevin, uh, Kevin, uh, oh, home alone. What? <laughs> oh yeah. The shirt is Bella the Barnes, Danielle, Bella the Barnes. If you don't follow her, you need to. I love this shirt. It's so stinking soft, but it's for her mom. Her mom has got breast cancer. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, that's what we did. So you'll put your little, your little bee down here. He ain't glued together, but put your little bee. You cute. You can put any bee you want. But this is what I was gonna show y'all a second ago. Y'all see that white paint where I kind of got happy on, got on the edges. Let's make it go away. And I look like I'm just a professional, non-messy painter. Make it disappear. Okay. All gone. <laughs> Looks all neat, doesn't it? It looks like I painted it with perfection. See, there's another blob of paint. We're gonna make it go away. Just gonna color it brown. But yeah, the furniture markers work good is what my friend told me, but I haven't gotten them yet. I, every time I go, I forget to, to pick them up. So I, but she says they work wonders. And then somebody says Mikey uses them too. Danielle reminds you of Kelly Pickler. She does. It's something about her mannerism, the way she talks, now that you say that. So, see? Covered up all my little edgy globbies, whatevers. I probably have to do it to a whole bunch of pieces. See that white? See on my happy? You see that white on the edge there? My H? You may not can see it as good as I can. But I'll do the same thing. I should have done it before I glued it down, but it's fine. I'll just run that marker right over the that white paint and make it look all pretty. It's all gone. <laughs> it's wonderful. Oh, the free page is the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. It is just, it's my group community that I've put together for everybody to show their crafts. Um, right now it's covered up with these which is just happiness is the flowers. I just love it, y'all. And the I can't remember who it was that posted the picture of her granddaughters holding their flowers. Y'all, that just, that just blessed my heart because she's just passing that on to her grandkids. And then her grand, those grandkids will pull that out of their hat one day and go, hey, I know how to make these cool fa fabric flowers that my grandmother taught me. And um, they'll just pass it on. You know, I just think it's so neat. And they looked like they were so uh, they, like they were so proud of themselves. They had made these cool little flowers. But I posted that video today if y'all want to go. If you haven't seen this. She used to put a shirt. I have done that, Arlene. I used to have to wear black scrubs. And if I got like a spot of bleach or something on them, I'd take a Sharpie and you just color in the spot and it'd be fine. It's gone. Um, oh, thank you, Rhonda. You're so sweet. Um, but anyway, so if you haven't seen this video, I posted it today on the page and you got to make some of these flowers. It's totally addicting. Kelly, you haven't seen the flowers? What? And they started off like this. This is how it starts. And this is what you get. Easy peasy. The whole group is full of flowers and I'm loving it. So yeah, this is before the center. So you take your petals. I'm going to show it again. Take your, take your petals. You take your circles. I do six. You can do five. And then you fold it in half. Make a taco. I'm surprised y'all hadn't made fun of me because I say a taco. And then you're going to fold it again and make a party hat like this. And then you just run a, run a thread across the end and you get them all, get all six or five of them on the string. And then you just tie it up, tie it tight. And it looks like this. It's fantabulous. I know, Shirley. Isn't it so cool? I mean, this would be great for Mother's Day. Even if you just had one in a little bitty flower pot and like a Sunday school kids or whatever. You got little kindergartner, somebody, you know, little kids. 
it would be awesome to do that um, for Mother's Day. Because it's, it's not going to die, y'all. I can't kill this flower. <laughs> I kill my plants. <laughs> you bought more fabric today to make more. I know, Carmen, there's so many choices. It's like I have this, I have a whole, y'all going to die when y'all see my fabric when I give y'all the tour. I have a lot of fabric. And uh, it's just like, oh, I want this color and this color and this color and this color. It's hard to choose sometimes. Um, yeah, somebody's saying about answering the questions. Yeah, answer the questions when you go to join the group. There's three questions I think you got to answer. I know the flowers are very addicting. I warned y'all, just like I told y'all about the flower painting that we did, it's addicting too because then you're like, I want to do it in these colors and I want to do it in these colors. Um, you doubled it. I know, Shirley. I'm like, people are taking one. Where's my other one? And they're putting the other, making a smaller one, or sometimes they're the same size, and putting that in, or let's do it this way. And they double them up, make the back one a little bigger, and you have like a double, you know, double trouble flower. Yeah, exactly, Melanie. Use Find an old shirt that needs to go to the wherever, <laughs> the garbage or something. Cut it up, make strips. Has your husband got an old, old, like plaid shirt or something rip that sucker up stitch along the taco edge <laughs> laura you killing me with the taco edge <laughs> i'm surprised somebody's not said oh my gosh she's saying taco and party hat well taco it's a taco it's a taco you got a tortilla and you fold it up now you got a taco <laughs> I'm, I'm i promise i refuse to grow up i'm sorry i'm not growing up I ain't doing a craft room tour right now, Miss Jackie, because it's it's a hot mess. <laughs> I'm still moving stuff in here. Teacher's gifts. Yes, Shelly. Thank you. Yeah, these are... I just... Hmm. This one is one of those little icing cups from your cinnamon rolls. I traced around that. But these... I had it today. It's a ribbon spool. I don't even know what I did with it. It's somewhere around here. I may have put it up where it actually is supposed to go. But anyway, it was a ribbon spool. And I just traced around it on my fabric. Well, you saw it in the video. If you watched the video, it was just a little spool of ribbon. <laughs> Norma's laughing at me. Taco pizza slice. Carol, it is. It's not even a hat. It's a taco. And then it turns into a pizza pizza. Yeah, and I, I did felt on this one, but my other ones don't have felt on the back. But you, you don't have to do that unless you just don't want it to be seen. Don't grow up. That's right. So you could actually have a have a, a front and a front and do a button over here and there not be a backside. But <laughs> it's a circle taco, taco party hat. That's a lot to say. Circle taco party hat. No, nope, Renee, I'm not growing up. I need a shirt that says, I refuse to grow up. Behind me. Show the whole B thing put together. Okay. Like right now? Let's see. So here's that piece. It's all out here somewhere. All right. And then there's this piece. And if you don't have a... Um, Tear tray. Golly, y'all. What's the group name again? The Turquoise Valentine, which is my page. Crafters Reveal. Um, so anyway, so there's this piece, and there's this sweetest honey. And then here's the be hat my tape sticking to it. Be happy. And then you get you get the B at the end of the thing which looks like y'all what just happened to my bee my bee come undone look he came off <laughs> i just had a disaster evidently that knot wasn't tied good enough but anyway he goes on the end this is real life bees just beads just went flying everywhere but anyway gotta repair that evidently i didn't tie the knot good enough 
And then here's the honey pot. And here is, let's see if I can't tear something else up. <laughs> <laughs> Fold it like a taco in a party hat. That's right. Okay. So there's the little garland that you get. And, of course, you get all these little bees. You get, you get, if you put a bee on everything I put on, you should have, like, two extras to do whatever you want to with. And then you're going to get these pieces that come out of that, of this piece. That honeycomb piece because I couldn't dare throw them in the garbage because I thought you get seven of these that you can whoop, that you can do whatever you want to with because I just couldn't um I couldn't throw them away I just couldn't do it um so yeah they will go live uh, again tomorrow after uh, I go live tomorrow night they'll go on my site tortilla taco quesadilla <laughs> now I want Mexican <laughs> um Brenda, yes, I will post a picture of my neutral set, but there's also, um, on my website where you get these, there's a picture of both there. So, if you want to go back to reference, you can. Um, so, there's the, there's the hive of the natural one. I just, I love it too. I, I'm, I'm torn between which one I like better because I do love the neutral. I mean, it's got a little yellow, but I just love it. We would never get on those pages. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Here's the little... See, I just stained the bees. That's all I did. I, didn't, I just didn't paint them black. And then he's my favorite. Maybe he won't come undone. <laughs> And then I just painted the beads to match. The beads to match. Here's the little dipper. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Here's the dipper to the other one. Where'd it go? Here it is. Here's the dipper to the other set. So you get a lot of fun little pieces in this set. I love this set. It's probably my favorite, which I say that about every single set. And like I said, here's extra. You know, you get a couple of beads that you can just do whatever you want to with. <laughs> Yeah, you'll figure out something to do with these. I'm sure. Oh, if you don't have a tear tray, you could put them in a dough bowl. Um, or just set them up, you know, on your entryway table. Different places around. You could put them, you know, nestle this in your dough bowl with some greenery or some daisies or whatever. And just lay your garland with your bee on it on the table. I mean, you don't have to have a tiered tray. But um, you could do... You know, put them anywhere you wanted to. That's where most people put their... Yeah, that's where they put their seasonal stuff. And Heather just posted the link to my shop. Would I sell the scrap pieces? What do y'all want? Like a big bag of just those little bee pieces? <laughs> it's a bunch of little pieces, y'all. Um, I've thought about it. Because I promise you, I fill up a five-gallon bucket every week, probably. Especially like this set is so many pieces that come out. Because, I mean, you got this piece, this piece, three of these, that, and the circle. Yeah, you can write be happy. That's what that's what uh, my friend Kelly was saying. Or you, you know, do B-E-E -E, and then there's four left. So, it'd be K-I-N-D, be kind. Or you could do, um, you know, just the B-E and then do... Happy. Yes, you could, put, Cherry, there you go. Put magnets on the back, and then you could line them all up on your fridge. And then you could take one of the little extra bees that you have, and you could put it on one, or whatever you want to do. Oh, good, you got your flowers and the popsicle, stick, the popsicle sticks. Popsicles and lemons. You would love scraps. Okay, I'll see what I can do with the scraps. Circle tray for my Easter set. Sell bags of blanks like DT does. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could. Y'all are funny. They're going to have me selling bags of little pieces. 
I'll just throw some in the envelope. I'll just take a handful and dump them down in the envelope before I, sh before I uh, seal it up. I'll just take a handful and just dump them down in there. Y'all be like, what is all this in this bag? What is this? Yes, the honeycombs for the gumball machines. Yes. Yes, it comes with triangles. I, yeah, I just don't even have any here. I didn't even bring any in here. I don't know why. I just forgot about it. So, yes, I, um, um, it comes with little triangles that you can, mine don't even have them on there yet, so I got to get going on that. I did paint the back of mine. I did good. But the, it has little triangles where it'll just lean like that. And it'll stand up. Or you can use your own little bitty easels, or you can lean it in your tear tray or your dough ball or whatever. Yeah, the, the bees are sold out. I will restock them tomorrow night. I'll go live at 7.30 tomorrow night, and then it'll go, um, the, I'll restock it when I get off. But I'll send out a text if you're on my texting service right there. Yeah, I'm just building stuff with wood. But, I mean, you could seriously, like, glue these little pieces all in a little, on a you know, on something else, and it would look like a bee. Yes, I will, Teresa. Tomorrow night, I will have more. Thank you, Miss Lou. All right, so I am going to hop off because we've been on here a long time, had not we? But it takes a while to finish this. And if you've never painted one, you'll, when you get all this stuff set out, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, I enjoy doing this with y'all. I don't do this very much. Um, any lemon sets like this one? Andrea, I'm going to put some lemon stuff out when the bees kind of start dwindling out. I'll start doing some lemons, and I got some other stuff I want to do. Um, yes, Rhonda, they could become flower petals. So, yeah, some lemon stuff's coming, but I do have little lemons in my uh, shop because I kind of wanted to put a little bit of stuff out there, and then this would be the big set, and then I will um, I will do, uh, uh, you know, I have other, other stuff that's coming. So... All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off. I had lots of fun. Get on the texting thing. Join the group. Do all the fun stuff. Um, you'll love the group. It's full of flowers right now. If you like these flowers, then you're going to see tons of them because it's awesome. Um, oh, when I point to something? Well, because Joanne, it's like, I know it's over here, but when I'm looking on the screen, it's over here. I know that's bizarre to y'all, but it's it's reversed. So I, even though I know it's over here, <laughs> on my screen, it's backwards. So it's it's like a mind game. So it, it takes a while to get used to it when you first start flipping the camera. It's strange. All right, guys, I'm hopping off, and I will see y'all tomorrow night, same place, same time, 7.30. Bye, guys. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow. Bye. It's Friday tomorrow. Bye.